In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the field level audit feature in Acumatica. And I think this feature is especially useful for master level maintenance screens like the vendor screen. And so I'll go ahead and demonstrate it using the vendor screen. Let's go to finance, accounts payable, and vendors. And I'll go ahead and call up the last vendor here. Then all you do to access field level auditing is you go in the upper right hand corner to help and audit history. Now if you haven't turned it on for the vendor screen, the first time you click audit history, you'll get a little window that pops up and asks you if you want to enable the audit tracking for the screen that you're on. I've already turned it on and made some changes, so I'm just going to click this and this will now open the audit history report for me. And I can easily see now for this vendor who created it, what screen they use, when they created it, what, who last updated it, what screen they used, and when it was last updated. But not only can I see when it was last updated, I can step through the history and see all the changes that were made on this screen. Assuming that I've actually told Acumatica to track the specific fields that have been changed. So like for this first one here, I can see the uh, payment terms were changed from 60 days to 90 days. And you can see the 60 day line, the first line is in red, the second line is in green, so the red is what it was changed from, the green is what it was changed to. Then on this record for this date and time, I can click this and I can see the 1099 box was changed from a 7 to an 18. And I can go further down here and here the 1099 box was changed from nothing to a 7 and then you know you can easily tell here a minute later it was changed from a 7 to a 18 and so on and so forth I could keep on going down and seeing all the changes that were made on this vendor assuming that I've told Acumatica to track the specific fields that were changed now how to tell Acumatica which fields to track you do that in the audit setup screen now, one thing about that though is the field that that um, the name that the field has on the vendor screen is probably not the name of the field in the audit setup screen. And so, one easy way I think to to make sure you get the right name is um, to use the customization feature on the on the screen just to look up the information about the field. Now, to show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and open up that audit screen. Let's just open a new tab here. And the audit screen is in system, under management, and this one right here, audit. And let's go ahead and call up that vendor screen here. So here it is. Now you'll see that this screen does not look the same as the actual vendor maintenance screen. What this is telling you is here's all the different tables involved. This is kind of a, a database way of looking at it. These are all the tables involved on that screen. And then for each table down below, you'll see the list of fields that are in that table. So right now, I have the address table highlighted up above, and these are the fields that are available in the address table. If I were to click on the vendor table, you'll notice on the bottom here, I'll click, click that and the fields now change. Now these are the fields available in the vendor table. And you'll notice here that these field names are not really user-friendly names. They don't have spaces and they're kind of abbreviated. So they're not going to match the names that are on the screen. So what I think works best is if you go to the screen and first you decide which fields you want to actually track changes on. You can write those those names down and then what you can do for each one of those fields is you can use this customization trick. I'll just go up to customization, open customization project. If you don't have a project, just click new. I already have one and it defaulted, so I'll click OK. Once I do that, this allows me to go back to customization and do enter page design mode. When I do that, nothing changes on the, the screen, but now you'll notice I can hover over a box and it changes, it kind of highlights the box. I can right click on it. So let's take the 1099 box. I want to know what 1099 space box 
is really called behind the scenes in Acumatica. So I'll just right click on it and go to attributes. Now this window pops up and this is now telling me it's in the vendor table and it's not called 1099 space box, it's called box 1099. I don't know why they're reversed but that's an easy way to know for sure that's what it's called. So now I can go back to my audit screen. I can find that vendor table and there's my field that I care about box 1099. All I need to do is make sure that the active box is checked here on the vendor table and that it's checked on on the specific field that I care about and now I know that Acumatica will be tracking every time a value in that field is changed. Now that one was pretty easy, just one more example. Let's go back to the vendor screen. Let's take this uh, account ref number field. So I'll do the same thing, I'll right click on it go to attributes and you'll see here this is actually stored in a different table not the vendor table it's stored in B account ACCT reference NBR so same thing I should be able to go back to that audit setup screen now I'm going to go to the B account table and there's that ACCT reference NBR field just need to make sure that box is checked so you can see some of the field names are, are not going to match but using that customization trick is a is kind of an easy way to to make sure you get the right name when you go to the audit screen to set it up. And that's all you need to do. As long as you have the, the fields checked that you care about, Acumatica will now track all the changes that are made to those particular fields.